Hi everybody, this is Abby with Scrap and Abby, and I am back with another video. This is my video response for the Lavish Laces One Year Anniversary Giveaway Challenge that Giselle um, is having. She's the owner of Lavish Laces, and she has an Etsy store, and she is celebrating her one year anniversary. So congratulations, that's very exciting for you. So I'm um, part of her challenge, or the challenge itself was to do a video response or you could contact her by email, her Facebook page, send in a photo to her email account of a project that you have created that you're going to give away to somebody else as a rack or just as just, you know, a gift for no reason or if there is an actual purpose for the gift behind it for a birthday, something like that. So this is a project and I'm already going to have a video on my YouTube channel for this project. But this is what I made for a design team project. But the intention of this is I made this for a friend of mine at work. And um, these are her colors in her home. And so I wanted to make a project for her to have for her house anyway, just kind of as a just because we're friends type of thing. And it also just fit into the time frame of my design team project that is was also due. So I wanted to just do another quick video just as a video response for that purpose only. In the um, details of my video down there, once I get the video um, edited, I'll have all of the rules and um, the challenge guidelines from, G um, from Giselle along with the different ways that you can contact her if you want to participate. This is my first ever video response and so I'm kind of excited about that um, to do that. So I'll make this brief because I kind of tend to talk a lot um, and just kind of show you guys the project. This is an altered canvas that I made for my friend Alicia at work. Her last name is Port and I wanted to make a mixed media canvas for her um, for her home. And I have to say, apologize for the background mess back here. I'm in the middle of another project. So forgive me for the um, clutter back there. It's kind of distracting. But anyway, um, so this is a canvas I made for her. And she has three kids, two teenagers and one that's almost a pre, well, she's a preteen. So I made this with the intention of her having a spot to put each of her photos of her children and then one big mat here for her to put of all five of them together. And so what this is, as you can see, is an 8x10 canvas and I use a bunch of different techniques on this canvas. Um, I did some stamping, some um, layering of papers and textures, did some inking, used some gesso, used some matte medium, and um, and I um, also put on three, actually see three, four, five canvases on top of this one. So these three on the side again are just a little, I think like two by two canvases. And I just put them on with some adhesive dots. And then this canvas here, the bigger one, it's also um, put on with some adhesive dots as well as the main one with their name. So I raised all of the canvases off the main canvas just to kind of give it that dimensional look. And I'll hold it up close so you guys can get a better picture of that. And then um, I use some crinkle ribbon from Three Girl Jam with my little flowers. She can slip her family photo underneath here. And then um, I just had this really cool latex flower that I put some craft paint on. And then just had some more of the Three Girl Jam crinkle ribbon on the back side. These are some foam thickers letters. Topped off the tee with some more of the crinkle ribbon. And then I have some more running behind the three photo mats um, canvases right here. And then I have some stamping, Sentiment Beautiful. I did some um, variety of stamps. If you watch my original video um, for this project, I kind of show you guys all the different paper collections and stamps that I used. So I won't go into that detail here. This is just more to show you guys what I made. And um, pointing at each of the photos of her kids once she gets it put on there. And then, let's see, have a little bit of turquoise bling in the bottom because turquoise and yellow aqua those are kind of her colors in her house so this was the reason i chose this color palette was to make it for her she and i've been friends for over 20 years um she's just a sweetheart of a person i love to um surprise her with the handmade things that i make and i've made her more things than this and i also have other projects I've made for other people, but I typically don't blog about it or do videos about it just because I don't want to broadcast that I'm doing that. I'm just doing it just to, as a, you know, kind of a nice surprise type of thing. So this is the uh, most recent project that I have still in my possession 
um, that I could share with you guys for the blog giveaway. I actually gave it to her today and then I saw the video um, from Giselle on YouTube this morning and I said I need to borrow this so I can do a quick video of just this project. So she graciously let me take this back home tonight so I could do this video but I'll have to give it back to her tomorrow. So um, again I'll just kind of show you guys here real quick without making you too super dizzy. This is my mixed media altered canvas that I made for my longtime good friend Miss Alicia Port and those are her colors. This was a lot of fun to make. Um, I've been kind of getting into the mixed media a lot so um, it's kind of another form of crafting that I've become I've come to enjoy and really like. So again this is a video response my first one for Giselle's um, Lavish Laces one year anniversary giveaway challenge. So again in the comments below I'll have all the information surrounding the challenge for you guys and um, I hope to see other people participate. It's kind of fun to see what everybody else does and Giselle I just want to give you a shout out and thank you for doing this. I think this is an amazing way to celebrate an anniversary. I totally believe in paying it forward and in crafting it forward. And I try to do that um, a lot in my day-to-day -day life with all kinds of things, not just crafty things. So this is a great way to do that. And I had... Oh, here it is. I wanted to share with you guys real quick, just in case anybody watching has never um, had any for laces. These are... I have it marked so I knew which ones they were. Um, these are some of the laces from Giselle that I won from a Ustream show I was watching and she was the sponsor and it's just amazing trims and laces just beautiful um, I've used a lot and she sent me quite a bit in my price package so I was really excited about that but so if you guys haven't checked out her laces before do that she's just got amazing amazing trims and laces in her store and I think it's just great to support um, fellow crafters who are also having a business to support themselves in their habit of crafting and yes I call it a habit because <laughs> it's it's addicting it's an addiction so I just think it's a good idea to do that to help support our fellow crafters and um, you know and uh, to show our support for them so again um, thanks again for checking out another Scrap and Abby video I try to keep this uh, short so hope hopefully I did and um, I'll see you guys next time have a great day